Wiltshire has the largest proportion of chalk downland in the world. The Coombe Bissett Nature Reserve, just outside Salisbury, is just one piece of the county's landscape made from the rare material. Now, their Wiltshire Wildlife Conservation Trust have received £814,000 from the Heritage Lottery Fund to expand the site. It's the most extraordinary part of Wiltshire, wonderful chalk downland, full of rare species. And what we're able to now do is to double the size of the reserve by buying this additional land literally next door to the existing nature reserve. Really exciting opportunity for us. The opportunity to buy land next to one of your existing nature reserves doesn't happen very often. And when it does, you need to take advantage of that. The team have been fundraising the rest of the amount to reach their £1.3 million target for the past two years. Once the legal process of acquiring the land is complete, they can begin the restoration process. It's been farmed uh, for arable crops for many years. It's been fertilised. doesn't have a great deal of wildlife interest in it at the moment. We will be reseeding it with downland grasses and uh, taking seed from our existing nature reserve and bringing that down so we'll be encouraging the wildflowers to re-establish and creating new wildlife habitat in which to encourage the insects such as the wonderful Adonis blue butterflies and the birds to come in. It'll be absolutely fantastic, it'll be a wonderful paradise for wildlife and so we'll be creating a, a link from our existing nature reserve through this new piece of land and then it links on to another site of special scientific interest creating a wonderful wildlife corridor that the, the plants and, uh, and animals can move through the whole of the, the, uh, the landscape and uh, be great. They hope this expansion will nurture the chalkland habitats in order to protect rare species. But it isn't a simple process and could take years before the project is completed. It may take us another year or two while we try to reduce the nutrient levels because if we put the wildflowers straight away into this, into this field, unfortunately the grasses will uh, respond really quickly to all the nutrients there and the grasses will be fantastically vigorous and you'll get this lush growth of grass and it will just swamp out all the more delicate wildflowers. So we have to get the balance right, so we mustn't rush into the process, get the, the chemical balance, the, the uh, fertility levels in the soil right, then you begin the restoration process and it will take time. Over the next five to 10 years, it will begin to settle down and in 10 to 15 years time, you'll come along, you'll look at it and you'll think, wow, this is just a lovely piece of grassland. As well as nurturing the landscape, the grant will also help the Trust to involve the community in the project, as well as to improve visitor satisfaction. One of the things that's really exciting about our ability to buy this land is how we can help to make it more accessible to local community. For us, it's really important that people come and enjoy the countryside, enjoy this extraordinary site, and learn about the importance of nature conservation. So as part of the grant, we're improving access, we're going to be making greater connections with people in the village. We're going to be working closely with the schools. We're going to be putting in kissing gates so people can get in and out of the fields much more easily. There'll be interpretation and we'll be creating opportunities for people to volunteer and to learn and acquire a whole bunch of new skills. So it's an important step for us in terms of improving the way in which we can work with the community. Once the work is completed, the Coombe Bissett Reserve will be double its current size and an important resource for the community and rare species of Wiltshire. Rhea Barton, That's TV.